Hey there, you filthy animals. Mr. Dirty back with another episode of the UTM Show. And today we've got something new from Cape Cod Kettle Cooked Potato Chips. Right, boom. So there we go. It's their waffle cut line again. And this time they're bringing us the barbecue ranch flavor. There's your new branding. This is the package you're looking for if you're looking for this in stores. All right, so here's the front of it right here. Not a whole lot. Their normal logo in a large picture. Maybe it's not. Who knows? It's their waffle cut right there. On the back, words. All right, let's get into this. Let's see what we got. It's got a faint barbecue scent to these. Not really picking up the ranch, but obviously there's something there to cut back on what should have been like a really overpowering barbecue smell. Now outside of the bag, yeah, you can smell that there's some other kind of herbs going on besides just the faint barbecue scent. These should be pretty crunchy because they're kettle cooked. Here we go. That's a complete roller coaster right there. At first you get the barbecue, and then something else starts to happen. Kind of like a sour surliness in your mouth. And that's when the ranch comes in, but not full-blown ranch. It mixes in with the barbecue. And it's really weird. It actually does come across as kind of like a... I don't know how to explain it. it there's hints of like salt and vinegar going on here. Yeah, there's almost a sweetness at the end. That's very peculiar. Who would have thought? Yeah, that's a very unique flavor. I haven't really tasted this on any potato chips that are on the market as of late. And the barbecue flavor that that all achieves, it really makes it reminiscent of like a mom and pop kind of barbecue stand or shack. Where it would be like, um, even in the south, maybe like a more mustardy type of barbecue flavor going on there. In the end, once it all pulls together. Because I've eaten a few of these now. And it's got the whole flavor built up. They're not bad at all. You know, the barbecue and the ranch seems to be a pretty good mix. Once you get past that first shock of the two flavors together, like you've never had it before, almost kind of ketchup y when they pull the clash together like that. Very unique. Not bad overall. I'm going to go ahead and give these a solid four out of five. I definitely pick these up again. I suggest you give them a try. At least. All right. So if you've had these already, let me know what you think. Let me message down in the comment section. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Real Mr. Dirty. As always, get out of here and go have a rotten day.